Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Dude, it's morning! Hey, everybody, my name's Mayhem! I'm... All right, gang, we have to get moving. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Jutsu. I am the Russian one. Also known, as, Duke. also known as Duke. And we're back with another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. We literally, it, last episode ended and we started recording this one. No amount of time progressed in between them. Don't worry. I have worry. a question. What? To start off. What? How do you guys feel about the Kangaskhan rocks? It's It makes sense. The Kangaskhan is the mother Pokemon that has her child like a kangaroo. So it makes I sense. Can't, I can't imagine it being anything else. Yeah, there's no other Pokemon. And then there's like a little it. Kangaskhan that you can meet that stores your stuff. Hear me out. Hear me out. In both games. Delibird. Deli no, bird? Deli Bird's like a delivery, delivery guy. Okay. That's delivery. Did you know? You wouldn't want to store anything in there? Yeah. <laughs> Not in that tail. Look at that little monkey. Yes. Look what I found! A monkey! Crossing this mountain is going to take us to the base camp. I want to I wanna keep going, but I also want to get into the, the mazes, yes. uh, the levels, so <laughs> yeah. we can keep doing that. Let's get it done. Three. Uh, we shall save real fast. But There's a monkey <laughs> in this mountain. What? <laughs> Please get this bitch a banana. Swearing way too early. <laughs> After hours. <laughs> monkey in the ba Mount Horn. Mount Horn. They should rename it to Mount Horny. <laughs> because now that I'm here. <laughs> God damn it, that's dumb. <laughs> That is absolutely... Oh, Cranidos! One of my... You're supposed to be dead! Favorite dinosaurs. <laughs> Jeez. Leave me alone, Freddy Mercury! Okay, now stop with the plant. Oh, no. never mind, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, was, I was hoping he would do that. I was hoping he was smart enough to do that. Leave Hi, alone, the sun! Freddy Mercury! You're supposed to be dead! So you think you can stop me and spit in my eye? No, I, no! I don't care if there's mercury and Gatorade or whatever the oh fuck God, it I is. I finally with fucking hit it. <laughs> You, you, you just insta dump all of the um oh hi moon you take the moon and you take the sun you take, take this gun and <laughs> shoot this old sun Rod? you take the moon and uh, you take it oh shit yeah you take the moon and you take this gun and you shoot and, and you, you find schnitzel, schnitzel and you shoot, shoot his, his son <laughs> this is the wildest audio and i always love it apple apple i don't need no apple you did not want to eat it? Uh, no, it was dirty. It was on the floor. My favorite. Unlike you, Duke, I don't like eating things off the floor. <laughs> I love the floor. I love the floor. <laughs> it adds flavor. Honestly, <laughs> that's a grass type. Shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn. You see how much damage that was? Yeah. It was completely not unnecessary. Now we'll start using... I am completely useless in this place. You take the sun and you take well, the, first the sun. This was a water area, and now it's a rock area. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> start throwing 63 rocks. Place. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's just. Thankfully, you were able to pick it Why up. Why not take the geo pebbles? Because I already had 99. You keep you're doing this, use, man. That I don't use, so yeah. It's just... Yeah. You know, geo pebbles were my favorite thing. Uh, when I was initially playing they do uh, Mystery so Dungeon, so much fucking damage. I prefer the gravel rock. And they're ranged, so when you're in oh, this yeah. situation and you don't have a ranged move, it's pretty. Ah! Pretty fucking neat. Hello, good fella. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. It's useless anyway. Do you plan to heal Jinzu? Oh, so he's about to die. Yeah, no, now I am. <laughs> Sixteen. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you plan to also use, you know, a heal item to get rid of the? Poison? Nah, we can get there in time. Okay. There you go. I think you lose whatever status effect you have. See? Right here. When you walk <laughs> down the stairs. <laughs> See? There you go. That's nice, good. Oh! Uh, hello, good fella! Attack him. <laughs> so many good people around. Youchers! Oh my god. Thank you. Breloom is the best. I am the best. Sorry, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I am the best. Would it be, would it be Duke Loom or Bread Duke? Bread Duke. Bread Duke. <laughs> Get that bread, Duke. Hello. What voice would you give a soul rock? A soul rock? Yeah. 
A very like monotone. Yeah. I'm giving it now. Like a more mon Woo! a more monotone like Hello Fuck oh. no. <laughs> no. And energy ball is done. Uh, you you asked what voice would I give it? Here's the voice, okay? Okay. Wow. So <laughs> I don't so, imagine that Soul Rock would talk. <laughs> such a such a good voice for a rock with no mouth. For an audio based <laughs> Well, huh. uh, do you want to know what it would look like visual? <laughs> rock with no mouth. He actually talks. You talk, when like you get him, he's just like, oh, hey, how's psychic it going? Psychic rock. It's a psychic rock. He can use telepathy, probably. So it would be. Did monitored. you not hear me then? <laughs> no. Did you not hear me then? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> now take a guess why. I didn't level arcane. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear me? Distinctly, I said, Okay, you take this stick and you shove it up your ass. Take. I don't have any insight. Oh, why not? I'm not crazy enough for this. Crazy? Ooh, another heal suit. That's actually... I'm in your head going crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A hey. rubber room. Wait, wait, wait. I... What? what voice am I going for right scarf? now? You have two. Two special bands. Held by Jinzu. You ever oh. do a voice and wonder what you're what you're aiming for? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. just oh 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 oh. More, more of the uh, energy ball. I think the voice I was going for, like thinking about it, I think the voice I was going for was um, uh, like insert every awful mayor in a movie. <laughs> you know how they all have kind of the same voice? Yeah. Oh, this will do terrible for my numbers. That's all that they care about. Isn't it funny how all of the people in power just want to have and keep their power for no reason no. other than having it? <laughs> Sir, this could kill off, like, 90% of the population, but what will it do to my numbers? But the, will oh. they think that it's okay? <laughs> and he's got a little, like, uh, uh, the, like, uh, what is it called? Uh, Monocle? Uh, no, he's got, like, some cloth for his, uh, to swipe the, wipe, uh, swipe Han the sweat away. Handkerchief. Yeah, he's got a handkerchief for his sweaters. Oh, what all this do to my numbers? Yeah. I like how I've just been kind of trying to race through this level and we leveled up twice already. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been taking every fight. Yeah. I mean, you're not saying no to a fight. I'm just winning. <laughs> Good boy. There you go. Oh, come on. I how did you not say that earlier? I fucking love our guys. Hey, look. <laughs> I didn't look because the text box was there. Yeah. What a weird map. Loosened enough. The, the, these two levels, the last one and this one, have been having so many weird ones. Mimic. Die. I care now. <laughs> I care. We shouldn't kill this child. <laughs> I care now. I'm more susceptible to long range attacks. How much time that they've had? I went in a full circle and the <laughs> thing is in the middle. Yeah. Ah! I hate the fucking stand sandstorm. Here we go once he's dead. <laughs> Kill the child. It is not. Oh, wow. Lar Larvitar was one of the Pokemon that I wish that I could um, be in Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Like their their selection was so weird to me because I was like Shings. I like yeah, it. I was confused why Shinx was in, in the game, too. Why not? Like, they added Riolu, which I think was really good. Riolu was a strong one. But, like, in Munchlax also, it was just like... Yeah, yeah. Like, I got a question. Munchlax? I think Buneary was another option, too. I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Because there is a fan game that is basically um, RPG maker for Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Coming out. Would you want to try that out? Maybe. I'm not asking, like, uh, oh, hey, do we want to, like, record us making a full Mystery Dungeon game? But, like, would you consider trying that out to, like, make your own game? We can see what it does. Honestly, for a game that I would want to make, I would not want it to be a mystery, a mystery Dungeon format. Because these games can can drag and get really monotonous really easily. Yeah. And then there's there's lots like missing from this game and like this this genre of series that like it's really hard to really uh refine this like style of game. And like the you can kind of tell with how Nintendo totally gave up on it and the their their remaster of Red Blue Rescue Team was just dog. I didn't even try that one. Like it was, I, it was bad. It was I bad. wanted to try it. How or like, actually I actually don't know. I think I might be 
I might be talking about a different mystery dungeon. Um, but like the future, the, mystery well, dungeons, yeah, the, the mystery dungeon, the, in... the Gen Six and Gen Seven mystery you know, dungeons were not good. There's one that I actually never played, and I don't, I didn't even remember it until like I heard the name again. I think it was like Gates to Infinity. Yeah. I got to hear what they did for that game. <gasps> Sounded weird. Like, have you heard about it? Gates to Infinity wasn't that the the triple the third the third release for Explorers nope. of Sky. Oh no, it was. Gates it, to Infinity was very bizarre because it didn't have much of the, like, uh, go in and find these random recruits. It felt more like you were recruiting the town itself to mm -hmm. your team. Like, you get a pavilion early on in the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, d Jinzu, do you want to eat the black one or do you want me to eat the black one? Give it to Blue. No, you can't. Please, ah. I want the black gummy. I can. You want to flip a coin? Oh. Yes. Like the <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Ooh, Blast is a lot. Uh, I, should get I am very used to downing black gummies. What the hell is pink! Because that because pink is a variation of red. You're smarter now, Mayhem. Uh, if I could just eat things and get smarter from it, I would e eat so many things. I mean, like, I already do. Dude, but like, <laughs> I wish that we had a fucking, like, some of like those systems that you see in, like, anime and shit. Technically, we do. We just don't see the numbers. I want to see the numbers. No. Go lift. Go lift. Trust me. Trust me, go left. <laughs> oh, we can't go left. I tricked you. You went left. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember there was this one comic that was going around where it was, um, uh, you, you see this guy like he's trying to build muscle, and it's just like plus one IQ, plus one IQ. What oh, is yeah. happening? And he turns over and you see the other guy just like full bodybuilder, and it's just like shit's bugged. The nerd. <laughs> he's reading. <laughs> the nerd is reading a book and he's getting super muscular. Yeah. It's so funny when it's like that. When when those jokes get made. And I saw somebody made a comment right under it of like, uh, uh, have you ever seen that one where it's like the big old bodybuilder dude and the dude with the big head is like, what gym did you go to? The, the library. library. Yeah, I hate that one. But they had it like where the so text funny. box reversed. Oh. Right. <laughs> so the nerd, uh, the nerd, just asking like, what li what uh, gym did you go to? The library says the jock. <laughs> the library. <laughs> well, we got there eventually. I think if I were to make this kind of game, I would get rid of the... No, I think the grid system needs to stay. The grid system with, like, the movement and everything. I would move the map to the top of the screen. Yes. Yeah. I've always hated that. I would move the gameplay to the top of the screen. That too. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And, uh, I think... For us alone, I would move it to the top of the screen, the map. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if I... I think if you made this game, like... Because the way this map, these games work, the map's layout is always RNG. Yeah. Yes. So where where that's the that's unfortunately a given. Yeah, where the stairs are, where each item is held, where the enemies spawn, that's all RNG based. So it's like really, it's you can like fail, and then and then just be stuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you can get literally like technically like it's obviously like never supposed to happen, but you could technically. That killed me in one shot. Fuck! Yeah, you got crit, that's why. Fuck! Crit. Imagine that, actually being like, hey, you make really good versions of our games and like can bring things over pretty well. You seem to know what you're talking about. You want to work for us? You want to work for us? Game? One Piece is doing that a lot with fan animators. And we don't sue you through the ass? <laughs> one Piece is doing it a lot through fan animators. Like, you mentioned that there was a fan animation you saw way while back of uh, One Piece. And you're like, oh, this is really cool. That guy went on to work on the show. Yeah. I don't understand why Nintendo isn't like this. Like, they're so... They're so very, like... No, your only job is to buy our things. You can't do anything else with it. Just buy it. I noticed Because it's a privilege. That, they uh, see it as a privilege. I notice it a lot that, like, Nintendo is a very mixed bag sometimes of, like, you'll see very, very differing opinions throughout it in a very bizarre way. Yeah. Like the way they respond to certain things, like one day they'll respond to something in the most positive light that you've ever seen, and the next they won't. They they've taken the guy's soul from him. They'll yeah. they'll one shot your YouTube channel with three fucking strikes just because you had just because you had modded gameplay of a game that they made. It is the reason why Ooh. when it came to that whole thing of uh, Zelda, I was willing to do that as long as we never touched a mod. <laughs> Of it. Honestly, at this point, I just wouldn't want to do anything for Nintendo at all. Yeah. Like, even the fact that we're even doing this is a little risky because this Pokemon, is Pokemon, I consider it an exception for me. Yeah, no, I... But he's talking about with the risks. Yeah. The, risks. the risks and the... This is a ROM hack. Yeah. So, like... 
I don't know. We probably can't monetize these these episodes. Obviously, Nintendo doesn't give a fuck because they don't know about us yet. But, yeah. um, but like, it's good that we're doing this as early as possible. I guess. Yeah. So we don't really have to worry about it. When and- it comes down to it, for the ROM hacks, I've seen so many channels that like do the ROM hacks of like different games, and the channels themselves have not been striked down. It's only they only really go after the fan games themselves. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. I'll say that as well. Fuck. Giant useless room. Like, uh, what was it? Um, Uranium. That was, like, one of the few, like, fan games that they actually went after when it came to Pokemon. Yeah. But otherwise, I see, like, overall, oh, no, 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 it's no, no. okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But, yeah, I, I, that's why I think, like, what we're doing with the Pokemon fan games and that kind of it's stuff. It's the we safest get, one. It's the safest one because the Pokemon company, like, obviously is part of Nintendo, but it's still, like... It's second party, it's not third party, it's not first party. So it's like, it would be Pokemon themselves, but they don't care as much as the people who play the games, as the people that, oh, money fell out of the moon. But um, as much as the... No, those cheese, because the moon's made out of cheese. Cheese, grab it, cheese. Do you want to Hadouken the guy? Nah. No. <laughs> Uh, and he's... Vo- volatile to die. Volatile. I will do that guy. <laughs> uh, Wait, it looked like an X parasite. Yeah, it did actually. But uh, one thought that came to me when it came to the no the use of fan games, like uh, for us, no one thing way. that made it feel a little more secure, a little more safe for us. You okay, Tinsu? What, what what happened? You said it looked like an X parasite, and I was thinking more about it. I'm thinking about how Nintendo likes to reuse their assets. <laughs> uh. You think the X Parasite is the energy well, well? I look at like the reuse oh, of assets. I look at the reuse of assets as like, well, I mean, if it's there, why not? Why not? You can change yeah. it up a bit, but at the same time, hey, fuck it, it saves money. Yeah. Yeah. That means yeah. you can put the money somewhere else. Into making the game into, stupid. <gasps> into marketing. <laughs> Iron Thorn. My favorite. Throw it at him. Just test it out. Okay. But, uh, but, yeah, so... but when it comes to the safety of it, like that's what I was trying to get into. Yeah. Of basically the reason why I think that this is more safe oh, in okay. comparison. Oh no, uh, th- this is more safe in comparison. Uh-huh. Have you seen Pokemon Uranium on YouTube? Nope. Oh, you personally have. Okay, Jinzu, have you? Pokemon Uranium? Yeah, no. on YouTube. Like, seen anybody play it? I want to hit you. There we go. <laughs> if you do an attack over them, it will whip. Maybe I'm at, I realized maybe I'm asking the wrong people considering you guys don't watch Pokemon fan games. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also I'm also keep up with ROM hacks. And even then I'm not really the one keeping up with ROM hacks. It's mostly it's mostly my cousin whenever he's randomly in the mood to play a Pokemon game. And he's like, Oh, I found this ROM hack if you want to play it. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then I'll like try it out for a little bit. I'm a very like I love fan games. Yeah, I'm a very like sink into the thing or completely forget about it when yeah. it comes to when it comes to certain things if it doesn't if the if the game or the show or whatever the fuck i'm interacting with doesn't hook me like immediately and i'm like obsessed with it it's really hard for me to to uh to consistently like go with it you know? if you got a hook you better have a good hook basically for you yeah basically whatever it is that you do has to stand on its own and can't just be like well, you should like it just because um eat the gummy i want it, it like it, it can't just be like oh you should this is a good pokemon it, it's because it's pokemon did you like this it's pokemon and it's like no i actually want it to be a good game first and a pokemon game second like yeah. that kind of thing. It's like you. The only reason I would want to play those kind of games, like fan games or whatever, it's like that. It's because you believe that you are bringing something to the table that the main company that makes it has. Like you believe that you have an idea that's better and something that they won't bring into the game. This one's obviously like a. This one's obviously just a. They wanted to tell a sequel story to the original Mystery Dungeon. Explorers of Sky. Like, that's what that, that one was. But, like, yeah. Xenoverse, it, they gave us... God damn it, this fucking phase. <laughs> but, um... But Xenoverse, it's like they they brought in the idea of... Yeah, I can hit you, it's fine. <laughs> with Xenoverse, where alternate dimension Pokemon and, like, the, the alternate dimensions are different types Pokemon you're familiar with. So, it's a new idea, and 
the way and it's a new region that hasn't been done before it's it's not kanto again but now all of the pokemon are different types it's just like that's that doesn't stand too well on its own it's right here. yeah that's very lazy and very like you guys will buy right yeah you guys like it you guys like this yeah xenoverse is regarded as like one of the better uh uh, fan games. Yeah, yeah. I'm really enjoying Xenoverse. Duh, but the fart. <laughs> I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying Xenoverse. Like genuinely. I just wish that some of the Pokemon didn't look so terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. Describe terrifying. You mean the like... the Meowth uh, oh, evolution. Yeah. Presage. Yeah. Yeah. Was, oh. <laughs> yeah. For for every one oh, that's your looks... favorite, there's at least one that's not. But then we get um, the Gengar. Yeah, Gengar was one of the best. And the Dude, fact that he talks. Dragon Gengar, Psychic Genie Gengar is pretty awesome. Did you know that apparently they have a Q&A every so often, and they use the Gengar as, like, to answer the Q&A? Yeah. Dude, oh, so they gave him a voice? It, they didn't give him a voice. It's just, like, they put the text box whenever, like, he answers the questions. Because ah. it's through the stories on okay. Instagram. Yeah, okay. It's real fun to watch. Why do all the gummies only raise your IQ? <laughs> Because that's what it, when when they raise it enough, you basically get a stat boost. Like when I ate, oh, there was one that I ate earlier. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, the pink one that gave me um, a stat a boost in like fucking three different stats. That that's the IQ, and basically, oh, basically the uh, what you kind of want the like I keep giving Jinsu the grass one, and it keeps boosting him up a ton. Yeah. So basically, I'm just doing like all of the ones that might be associated with grass. And green and all that kind of stuff, and then all the ones that are red and fire, so pink, orange, red. Mm -hmm. I'm giving to Mayhem. Ooh. <laughs> Color association, my friend. Yes. And then, <laughs> thanks for leveling me up, Jitsu. Really appreciate it. You are now 22. <laughs> hey man, really appreciate yes. it. <laughs> there we go. Just we should, one play, level... we should play Contra on our channel. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new Contra that has up to four players. Oh. Okay. <laughs> like they just released it. Hey, gummy. And when like, I when I found it, what literally when I found out that they released a new Contra game, I was like, when did they release this? Today. It is two in the morning. They released it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that that is that is interesting. Did that not... felt like, that felt like fate. I was like, I have to play this. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I love I love Contra. The running gun shooter games like that, like Cuphead or um Cu Cuphead is another game that we could play. Yeah. It, it would definitely be me and you, Jinsu, because if Duke starts trying to play it, he's going to get very mad. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> and he's going to rape. That, game, that game's pretty fucking hard. It's very punishing. But it's listen, so fun. Listen, I love you guys. But I would murder one of you. <laughs> Wait, you, Cuphead, you work together. Yeah, Cuphead, there's no, like... It's not like Super Mario Bros. where you can fuck with each other. Um, but multiplayer is really useful because it you can... It would be my excuse! <laughs> <laughs> Multi multiplayer, would be really good. multiplayer would be really good in, in Cuphead because you got you can res each other. Because yeah. you, you get up to three hits total. Um, and once you die, you kind of turn into a ghost and you start like wisping away. And then while you're in that little ghost wisp thing, the other player can use the parry mechanic to bring you back. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of like, don't revive me, revive me, revive me, revive yeah. me. <laughs> and then I just don't. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you die in a really rough spot. And it's yeah. like, I can't really. No, you, sometimes you die at the top. Oh, we made it. Chapter eight. A new Shit. Path. That was it. That was the chapter. It was this level. <laughs> oh, the two levels. And like the story the from Berlin. Was this in, in the original um, Explorers of Times and... Uh, there was like I think it was like one or two levels maybe and then we get to the expedition area or they literally were just like here's the new expedition area. Oh wait, no, now I'm starting to realize there were there were, I played Explorers of Sky, Time and Darkness with my sister. Um those games had like there was like a it's like a sand level that you get stuck in at some point. And I don't think you've gotten there yet. I don't know if the sand level's definitely further in. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's that's, not, that's it's what, not it's that's, not really. Yeah, no, it's good. That's where but, I got stuck. That's where I stopped playing Ex ooh. Explorers of Sky and this whole thing. And From then I memory, my play the rest. <laughs> uh, I, I will tell you this, guys, right now. Of uh, this was one of those ones of the reason why I brought this one up a while back is because um, I saw somebody play it and I was like, this is sick, and exactly what Mayhem is looking for. Yeah, and the fact that w we are literally now getting to the noob area. So let's yes. let's let's, let's, uh, let's go. We made the dirt. I think that's the guild up ahead. I guess I'll start heading back then. Will you be alright traveling all the way through Treasure Town by yourself? I don't have you who just with carried me. me. Who just carried you guys through the map? <laughs> you got a rock place and then a water place. Don't worry about me. And, uh, yeah. thank you. 
for letting me come along for uh, long, that is. It was fun. No problem. Bye, Berloom. Fuck off. <laughs> I, just, I just explode. I feel bad. If I always like, just explode. The moment I mess up a line, I just get, get you motherfucker. <laughs> I wonder why Mayhem didn't say anything. The main character didn't say anything to Berloom. That was pretty weird. He, he gave a knowing nod. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, no, he knows that he, he's very embarrassed of the fact that he got one shot by that guy earlier. <laughs> Don't look my way. Look at Diglett. What? He's in he's grass. Doing his, he's doing his fucking... Oh. <laughs> We're finally here, Mayhem. Oh. You all are late. Everyone else arrived a long time ago. Would you quit being such a bitch? Arr. Go get your equipment down. Make haste. Now that everyone's assembled, let's get on with our strategy briefing. Yes, sir, we. God, just, chat out is just such a bitch. Yes. Yes. I wonder what his backstory Attention, is. Attention, please. I murdered my parents. Everyone <laughs> has arrived at our base camp safe and sound. We shall now proceed to the search for Team Charm's hideout. We're going to deliver our f donations to become Tier 4 subs. <laughs> I'm so glad I looked up their addresses. As you can see, <laughs> we are in a densely forested area. I got a big check to give them. <laughs> Somewhere within this forest, the hideout is supposedly concealed. Sniper Gardevoir is out there somewhere. <laughs> sniper Gardevoir. No, Lopunny would 100% be the sniper. Or Sniper Bunny. <laughs> sniper, sniper Bunny. Yeah, I'm a simp. Sniper <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Pokevoir. Pokevoir. Uh, Ammer. Ammer. Ammervoir. Wait, no. Garnav what's Garnavirus. The, no, no, no. Amarith. What's the name of the third one? Meta. Uh, Meta Chan. Okay. Ammer Chan. Ammer Chan. It's the easy huh? one. What the fuck? What are you guys referencing? Amaranth. Amaranth. Amaranth? Uh, yeah. You don't know her? I know who Amaranth is. Okay. That, yeah. that, that's what we're trying to do with Using her. Using her as an example. Wait, but who? I didn't... Huh? Uh, it, like, because Medichan is one of the Team Charm members. Okay. And but, so... Trying well, to figure out the pun? What was the pun? He said Amarchan. Oh. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love when one of us misses the pun and we're just like, I am so... So mad I'm missing this. I'm so <laughs> what is this? I'm severely out of this and I need to be relayed. It, <laughs> it okay. has yet to be discovered by anyone outside of Team Charm and those trusted by them. Wait, yeah, why are we here? The guild master was once escorted to this location by Team Charm long ago. He had to film something for them. He's still he scarred. He's the cameraman. He's still scarred. Look at him. those eyes. Of course he is. Yeah. His memories are a bit fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> but we are certainly near the hideout's location. Why is Corpfish so happy? Remember, they don't know we're coming. So. <laughs> tier 6, tier 6, tier 6. <laughs> so how are we supposed to find this place? Good it question. sounds impossible. Very good question. Say, Corpfish. You'll wreck the dream if you say something like that. Wreck the dream. Yeah, don't spoil things now. I can't wait for them to use my mouth. I, I also realized the voice I'm kind of aiming for as well of like it's a mix of like his anime voice of Corfish. Yes. Uh, as well as uh, a bit of Igor from um, uh, Young Frankenstein. Oh, no, no, no. It's actually pronounced Igor. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey. Ahem. <laughs> it is true that we will face some complications as we search for the hideout. I can't wait to expunge chat out from the guild. But our guild has overcome difficult challenges and obstacles when conducting successful explorations. Absolutely eek. That's how, That's how our guild has earned the reputation for being first class. class. So you have to have an echo with every word that you say with like two... So that, 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 that's... That, 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 that. Fuck, no. <laughs> that, that's how, how I, I just, just talk, 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 bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everything will be all right. Let's believe in success for this adventure too, and let's try. Let's try. No. You heard him. Let's move on with our plan. As you all know, Team Charm's hideout is inside Gloomy Forest. Careful, they will dox you for some reason. <laughs> our current location is near both Gloomy Forest and the adjacent Foggy Forest. Wh whether Why? we. Why is Team Charm in the gloomy forest? Lighting? <laughs> You've heard the diamond in the rough. Here's the sexy in the forest. Sexy in the forest. Here's the windigo that... Big. <laughs> the she's thing the, to go. She's is... the... Window C? Window C. <laughs> is there a windigo Pokemon? Um... 
I yeah, it's Stantler. Is. No. Have That's you not seen a, a Stantler uh, standing just a deer. in you not seen a Stantler standing in the uh, forest? <laughs> yes, a deer. It, is, does a Stantler stand in the forest? Wendigos can transform into other things, right? Yeah. Yes. They're, they're not necessarily the the thing that we know them as. They're usually like shape shifting. More they're more they're more like base form that is part of the myth is more of just a um you, skinwalker. You guys saw it earlier of like the when it came to Pokemon Xenoverse, there is a uh Wendigo Pokemon in that game. Yeah. Yeah. For reference, by the way, when it comes to that game uh, when we come back to it, uh uh Jinsu, it is that reindeer thing that you saw. That little cute reindeer uh elf Pokemon. It evolves into the Wendigo. Ooh. Foggy Forest is known to be shrouded in a heavy fog. Some of this fog is spilled over into gloomy forest. Foggy Forest, gloomy forest, foggy forest, gloomy forest. We think forest. that this is why the hideout has proven itself so hard to find. If we aren't careful, we could end up wandering into the wrong forest entirely as we search for the hideout. This entrance directly leads into Foggy Forest. <laughs> Once you reach the large boulder, turn east and you will eventually reach... Gloomy forest. Gloomy forest. The new forest should look distinct. That's how you know that you have successfully diverged from the main path. The guildmaster and I shall remain here to gather intelligence from our teams in the field. You are to go off in teams to explore this forest. Go down the forest for us. <laughs> we suspect that the fog will need to be removed in some way in order to find the hideout. Therefore, your search is twofold. One, search for Team Charm's hideout. And two, find a way to lift the fog. If you accomplish either thing, return to this base uh, to the base camp and tell me or the guildmaster. Once that happens, we can finally meet Team Charm, and each guild member can have their aura inspected for free. Oh, <laughs> that sound! I hate to say that sounds like something that would actually be pushed by one of those types of streamers. We'll read your aura. If you give me five hundred dollars, I'll just... read your aura. Yeah. All right, everyone, let's give it our best, as always. Did I disturb you with that? Yeah. Wait, that's why they're going, right? To get their aura read? Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't... What's the significance? I don't know. I, I guess I'll find... read your aura, and I'll sell you some bath water on the side. <laughs> let's go, Mayhem. I want to <laughs> sip on that bath water. So, <laughs> bath water. So this expedition was organized so that everyone in the guild can have their aura inspected. What does that mean? Isn't aura just a Pokemon's life energy? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> And maybe more importantly, why are Chad and Wigglytuff so interested in this? Hey, ma'am. What the fuck? Pay attention. Shit's important. You're thinking, aren't you? I've been thinking, too. About Berloom's story. That's not what I'm talking about, you fucking idiot. Yeah. He's not thinking about that. Do you think he was telling us the truth? No, I don't care. I mean, he definitely seemed emotional, but maybe he left out some details. I like how we're talking about this right next to Chad. I know. It just seems unbelievable. What yeah. you guys? What you guys talking about? What? Are you siding with Chad on that? No, just, this is the same guild that we're a part of now. It feels weird. Sorry, I just thinking out loud. Let's get through this forest. What you guys talking about? Taxes. Tax. Oh. <laughs> what you guys talking about? Wouldn't you want to know, Chirpy? Chirpy. <laughs> I'll, I'll guys, miss. new slur just dropped. <laughs> for birds. <laughs> Way Did he just call us a fucking twat? No. Maybe. I oh. swear, go talk to that motherfucker. That again. language is not appropriate for these kinds of games. Oh, I heard. I saw twat with two. <laughs> <laughs> talk about reaching. I know why that they had to take it up, but I do miss the uh, the quirk of chat What do you mean? Th that you can customize. Oh, his... I... He's crying. Yeah. Should we go? I to wonder Gloom why they removed or... it. Or should we go to Foggy Forest? Record your noise now. Hey, what? Fuck. Like yeah. Why? Uh, I thought this was only lit to Foggy Forest. Well, we have to either find Team Charm's hideout or uh, go and lift the fog. Does it matter, you think? Mm. Probably not, because it's Pokemon, right? I'm, I'm just going to go to Gloomy Forest. And... Oh, we should have saved. I, I saved? You know why it's foggy? There's a lot of Oddish around. It's for Steve. Oh! I figured it out. It's fucking... Gloomy, Gloomy Forest is the right place, but if you go to Foggy Forest and get rid of all the fog, then Gloomy Forest becomes easier. Hmm. That's what it's going to be. I'm a smart. I understand game design. Mm. We don't have anybody Do you know here. the reason why it's foggy? What? It's dank as fog. I was going to say it's because of the steam from the bath, but okay. Oh, Torkoal. <laughs> Uh-oh. We don't have a water tab. Water. No! You fucking idiot. 
Jinzo. Jinzo. <laughs> it's fine. Is it just a fucking torkel? Jinzo. <laughs> Binzu. Binzu. Do you guys remember the era of memes where they just replaced the first letter of every of every word with the B? Yeah. I love with it. that like red and white B. Either red or Binzu. blue. Binzu. It, it was either red or blue. For some, for, I think for for certain. It seemed more calm if it was blue. I I got the same I got the same emotion from it. But like if like say your phone's app. Or not your phone's up. Your phone's like regular text messaging shit. Yeah. Uh, the B was red, but when you did that on like Discord or something, the B became blue. <laughs> hey guys, check out my new keyboard. B. <laughs> Remember how they did that? Like uh, the letters with all the different uh, like I think faces of Markiplier or some shit. <laughs> e. Oh yeah, no, it was specifically E. And I know there was one with Jack Septicai at, uh, at one point. Like he had a letter. That, that was just because the meme was around for too long. <laughs> yeah. I forgot why that was Slugma! Funny. Slugma nuts! And it's smog specifically, so. Steam. Oh, it's the fucking... The chat out wants to spy on their bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Tier 6, here I come! <laughs> Mr. Point Blank Energy Ball. Do you see that shit? There you go. I mean, he survived. It is his most highest damage. Imaginary damaging. technique. Energy ball. <laughs> Green. <laughs> <laughs> Just hearing, like, the piano. Throughout heaven and earth alone. <laughs> I am the green guy. Or uh, throughout Dude. heaven and earth, I alone am the green guy. Dude, fucking that one edit of that scene of Gojo awakening, and it's the fucking Minecraft reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I'm in creative. <laughs> <laughs> I tickle my pickle. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout Overworld and the Nether, I alone am the crafty one. She. I like got afraid that like I was gonna get super effective affected by the Ember, and I was just like, no, I'm actually the competent one right now. Hmm. Jinzu needs protection. Uh oh, became a whiff whiffer. Oh, I miss more. Is that a new effect? It was, yeah, it's new in this, but basically just like I don't. Yeah, you whiff. Yeah. Whiff. Jitsu, it was a long. It, Mayhem, long. I am of the same camp. Let's get a whiff. No. <laughs> Is that not why you're here? No. Because I get a paycheck. It's because. <laughs> $200! What does it mean? Whoa! Nice! Okay, okay, I found it. I found it. Can I play it in the mic or is it fucking. Uh, depending right on. Right now. Wait. All right, fuck it. Do it. I stroke my pickle. No, it, you don't have to cut it. It's Minecraft. I think it's so... Be pissed about it. I stroke my pickle. Ding. Ding. Then how the hell would there be Let's Plays of it? Because you're playing the game. You're not using the music. But wait, what if... I'm not the one using the music, but I'm playing something that is using the music. Then you... Then Disney comes to your place and shoots you. It'll be okay. Bloody hell. I can mute audio, by the way. Post. Don't worry, I'm still... I'm. <laughs> don't worry, I'm just cutting out this IQ whole section. IQ-skilled anyway. non-trader? What? Wait, what did I say? Ireland IQ-skilled non-trader. How do I... Read Team? That? Hold on. Dude, look up a change list of what they did to this fucking game, because I am so lost. <laughs> Escapist... Non-trader. There it is, yeah. Go down. Non-trader. If the Pokemon has confused status or covering status, is wildly aimed attacks will not hit friends. Oh, Let's go. wow! I, I, I gave you that by you eating the white gummies. Oh my god, I know not to smack you they... in the dick when I'm fucking <laughs> dazed on my ass. Not Holy shit, That's guys. I am so fucking stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking high right now. Oh, that was you? My bad. You get it? Team Charm is in this place with a bunch of fire type Pokemon because they're hot. Wait, 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 wait. Older Sleuth failed because neither of the two characters are ghost type. Yes. What the yes. fuck does Older Sleuth do to ghost types? Looks at them. <laughs> oh, no, I remember. It lets, you, it lets you hit them with normal and fine type. God! The number of times I wish we had a camera. <laughs> <laughs> As you just fucking looked at them like that, like that meme from Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah, the the what's her name? Yeah, I, yeah. I can't remember her name at all. But way, the way that she like terror. She had a really gazes. weird name. She had a really weird European ass name. Yeah, Yosefka yeah. or some. No, that's Bloodborne character. <laughs> no. She Bubba, bu right? The the list of Marlanes that come to visit 
Uh, Paradise. Parody. Parody's nuts. Parody. Parody. We are here in a blinding screen. I am. This fog is so heavy, and this asshole has a fucking boots on. <laughs> it's way thicker than I thought. I can't Yelena. see a thing. Yelena. Oh. Yeah, Yelena. We're in a place with a bunch of fire type Pokemon because they're hot, and the fog is too thick. We're in OnlyFans territory. The fog is bath water. Yeah. <laughs> Don't breathe it in. <laughs> Neither can I. But that means that this might be exactly what we're looking for. Let's try to look around. Man, why does it all smell and taste so sweaty? Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is the spot. This is that Groudon statue. I still remember the first time I saw this thing. It was with Mayhem in the future. I wonder if Mayhem even exists in this world. Hey, I met him. <laughs> I haven't seen any sign of Wigglytuff's guild approaching this place. Maybe they aren't coming after all. Maybe that's just another thing that has changed it in this world. I could have just arrived here earlier than expected. Or later. There's no use backing out now. I may as well stick to my plan. Not like I have any better ideas. Rack. Grove out plays the straight stone in the statue's stone chest. Mama Weevil! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he turn off the... The Falg? Yeah. Clear skies, as expected. That's good. Sun is shining in the sky. Now, to Fogbound Lake. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, er. ding, ding, ding. What was that? Felt like an earthquake, but I thought I heard a voice coming from that direction. I didn't hear a voice. That's it! Uh. A voice that powerful. I haven't been down this path before. Maybe that's where I should go. Dang, ding, 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 ding. No, I'm gonna learn that song on the piano. The fog is gone. I can't wait to tell the rest of Guild. Ugh, you told my line. I'm the stealer of lanes. Call me light stealer. I'm Jinsu, I'm, I'm known by many names. Jinsu the spoiler, Jinsu the asshole, and Jinsu the stealer of lands. <laughs> <laughs> I do find it funny that basically the only, like, voice that I do for, like, if I'm trying to go deep, like, no matter what I'm aiming for, it ends up becoming Russian. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> but finish your, finish your line. Fun, fun. There you go. Finish snorting that carcane. <laughs> no. What about you, Chatot? Talk to yourself, dude. Yeah, you don't want to talk to yourself. You oh, okay, shit. As okay as I can be, Guildmaster. It's just, it can be challenging to prepare for one of your roll calls. Also, I'm a little high headed from, I might see, might see them. <laughs> Girl heard the earthquake from like five hours away and was like, the lungs on that boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chata was right there. <laughs> Imagine, um... Chata's right there, just, like, blown to some of the means. Just a pile of feathers. <laughs> Is that not what usually happens to us? Yeah, that's you guys with me. But uh, I was gonna say, it's like, it's like, um, Invincible with, like, Mark, like, sitting, like, there getting beaten half to death by, by his dad. But it's just Wigglytuff going, Yoop, ta! <laughs> Man, I think that was Wigglytuff's roll call. It shook me to my fucking core. Maybe we should return to the base camp. No. Return there for what? So Jarrah can tell us that the fog went away? We already know that. This has to be the spot. I'm not going all the way back there just to return to the leader. It makes no sense. And what if the fog returns? Then it really turns into a bad idea. It's just a matter of time where this entrance is hidden. Huh? Ma'am, that sentence didn't make sense. Don't you think that, Don't you think the guild could help us look here? We've decided to help before. Oh, we've needed help before. Why what, am I? What the happened? What just happened? What? I sat on a switch. This whole section of the forest is just a boot. Oh, I get it. You found a hidden button, did you? I must remove this. That must have removed this section. Somehow. There's a little rock you standing on. What kind of technology does Team Charm have access to? They have a lot of money. So. They have a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. We need to report this to the guild. This is crazy. Crazy. I was crazy. Do we really know? We already traveled this far through the forest on our own. And how much help did the guild provide us during the rest of the expedition? Yeah, but we still should. The guild is, is expecting us to tell them about something like this. Even if... 
monster. The butt just sank under the ground. We have to go right now. Everything's starting to come back. I think that butter shut off the timer. The doors when we get another chance to use it. Forget about the guild. Do we want to explore this hideout or not? Imagine it popped up an option button for Jinsu. Yeah. yeah. Her, let's go. <laughs> Determined Trico. And we're fired. <laughs> chapter nine. We found Team Char. That was a quick chapter. So, that was a very so quick what chapter. would have what would have been different if you took the uh, if you went to Gloomy Forest straight? Would you have been there with uh, Wigglytuff and Chad out when? We maybe. When well, I think for memory, it's the kind of thing of like you turn off the fog. Or... I have no fucking clue. Honestly. No, Gorval. Gorval turned off the fog when he put the yeah. rock into the statue. But we have the, But we have a rock also. Would we have found the statue and turned it off? And then some. And then Grovile would have been over by Team Charm. Duke, internet access. <laughs> no, Duke, my guy in the chair. Hey, I can see it, ma'am. And we're sitting on the couch. You're sitting in the chair. Too. <laughs> see, there's something up ahead. Damn it! Oh, this is different. Why are they dead? This place is also looks like a desert. This is it. This is the entrance to Team Charm's hideout. It just starts licking the statues. <laughs> that image is SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now it's sealed up. Just, Ma'am, this is it. Dives it, low pony. <laughs> There's no. I'm gonna do it, Batman. <laughs> There's no loss in the Pokemon world. And it's just like, don't judge me, Mayhem. Meanwhile, Mayhem over at Gardevoir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a good thing we got through the forest at least. Somehow, Grovile is here. He's by Metachan. <laughs> Wait a minute. The forest came back too. Does that mean we're stuck here? No way. There has to be some kind of fail safe here. Surely there is, right? Maybe it's another button. Let's start looking. I found it! <laughs> hey, hey, ma'am. I don't think there's a Kangaskhan rock here. Did you notice that? She. But this has to be the entrance. I mean, there's statues of Lopunny, Gardevoir, and Metacham right here. Could there may I... not be a Kangaskhan rock, but I'm rock hard right now. <laughs> but uh, there may not be a Kangaskhan rock, but you're still calling these statues, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, mama. <laughs> that actually deserves... Dude, that was fucking great. Shut That's up. actually fucking great, Shut dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Could that maybe have anything to, do, anything to do with this? After what just happened in the gloomy forest, I'll try anything. Team Charm is known for their finding plenty of treasure, right? Finding. They clearly spent some of that treasure on some sort of advanced security system. All of their tier 2 subs. Maybe these statues are the keys. It's finally time to see what this Team Charm hype is all about. <laughs> but we'll be doing that next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. And we'll be doing something to these statues. Next time. <laughs> Bye! Next time! <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want first, Jinsu? Which one do you want to touch first? Uh, uh, I guess Garnivore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little embarrassment. Ah, uh, <laughs> I guess Garnivore because she's the closest thing to a person, and then Lopani is an animal. Uh, what is Medich? <laughs> Medicham is uh, an abomination Me Me against God. Medicham is one color change from blackface. There's, oh, there's, I understand that. Very true. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that.